What's going on, guys? I got a good one for you today. Today is New Guitar Day. We're going to do something a little bit different. Usually, I'll buy a new guitar, and we'll just do the traditional unboxing. I'll show you a bunch of parts that I'm going to modify the guitar. And then I get a little bit lazy, and I don't do the updated videos. I got a lot of those coming, promise you. But for today, a little bit different situation. What we're going to do is we're going to unbox a modified Kramer Beretta Special. Pick this up at Guitar Center for $199. Seen it circulating on the internet, YouTube, Instagram, all those socials. And I couldn't resist. I needed to have one of these guitars. It's super, super cool. I've had it for about a couple weeks. I played it a little bit, plays awesome right out of the box, so no complaints there. Um, I ordered a bunch of modified parts that I'm going to put on this, so instead of introducing the parts that I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what the guitar looks like and plays like now that it's already modified. Now, I will tell you, I did not do a pickup just yet. I'm kind of digging the pickup that's in it. It comes with a Kramer branded El Nico uh, V Zebra pickup, I believe. Um, it sounds cool for now. Uh, probably upgrade maybe Duncan Distortion, maybe a JB. I might even put an EVH Wolfgang in it. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to play it like it is for now because I'm kind of digging it. So let's unbox this thing. Part of the traditional thing, bag of goodies, you get the tremolo bar, you get an Allen key for your adjustments. It uh, looks like there's some stickers in here. There's also uh, download the Gibson app. Um, yeah. So let's get to the good stuff. Look at that bad boy. They call this candy blue, and it sparkles. So this is gonna be, for me, my E standard drop D guitar. I have a couple different ones. It's always good to add another one something that has a little bit different flavor of a pickup in it. So let me uh, tell you about the specs a little bit. Uh, we got a mahogany body with a maple neck, maple fretboard. It's 25 and a half inch scale length with a 12 inch radius fretboard. Bolt-on construction, comes with a tremolo. It stayed in tune when I took it right out of the box and played it. Uh, but I wanted to upgrade it to something else. I kind of wanted to like get rid of the chrome because it came with all chrome hardware on it. And I wanted to put the black stuff on it, black it out. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, so what I did to it is I put a, I'm not even sure what the, the brand name of this bridge is, but I'll put a link in the video description for all the parts that I used in this video for this guitar. Um, it's actually a roller bridge. Um, I did have to make some modifications to it. I had to use the stock block because the aftermarket block was really, really small and I just felt that it was gonna lose tone. So I put the aftermarket block, everything lined up so there was no issues there. Um, Honestly, with all these upgrades, I didn't really have any issues. It was just plug and play. Um, changed out the one volume now because that's all it is. Just one volume, no tone, no selector switch, obviously, because it's only had um, one pickup in it. So I put a cool um, speed knob on it. I traditionally put like tele knobs on it. I put it on. It didn't really look good. Um, I did a little bit of work to the frets, not that they were really bad to begin with. I just polished them up nicely. I sanded the back of the neck with some like 400 grit finishing sandpaper. I, I've used it on other guitars. It has such a nice feel to it. Um, I didn't treat it or anything. 
with like the linseed oil or anything like guys do. Um, I'm just going to leave it because what I traditionally do is just let my finger oil um, just treat it and I never have any issues. Um, I put the hip shot locking tuners on it. They're the open gear. They look really nice. And then after doing all these upgrades, it still stays in tune. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty nice. Um, in the cavity in the back, I put genuine Floyd Rose. Uh, they're like a rubber coated spring. It gets rid of like that ringing you get so that when you're recording and playing, it, it has a tighter, tighter sound to it. Um, I got the red ones because I needed a little shorter spring because me personally, I'm not going to use the tremolo. I'm just going to pretty much use it like a fixed bridge, but having this setup gives you a specific tone. So that's the whole idea behind that. So I've pretty much got the bridge slammed down against the body. And then with those tighter springs, it keeps it really stable. And um, yeah, I think that's all I got to say about this. This thing is a super cool guitar. I think, um, Oh, I put Dunlop strap locks on it as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up because I haven't played it since I did the modifications. I got it all done, strung it all up, and I didn't want to touch it until I did the video because I wanted it to be all shiny and no scratches or anything from beating on it. So I'm kind of excited to play this thing. So I'm going to hook this up to my 5150 Iconic, uh, mic with an SM57 going through an EVH212 cabinet. Um, and I'm just going to play a few riffs, uh, nothing special, but, um, yeah. And then I'll come back and I'll kind of give you my final thought of how I feel after we jam out on it. Let's do it.
So my final thought, it's a pretty cool guitar. Um, it definitely plays a little bit better, obviously, because of the feel of the neck. Um, yeah, I had some fun. Uh, I can't wait to get off here and play it some more. Um, that's all I got for you for today. I'll put all the links for all the parts in the video description. Let me know down below if you played one of these things, if you're thinking about getting one of these. If you got any questions about the mods, hit me up. Let me know. We'll talk about it. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you for today. So don't forget, subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.